We all ran for president motivated by the same reason. As I watched President Trump divide this country more and more, I thought to myself, what are you willing to do to stop him? You had the most destructive, hateful, racist president in the history of this country who is literally tearing apart the fabric of the United States of America. Donald Trump is a failed business person and desperately failed us as a president. We will run! I ran for president because I think it's urgent that we heal the divisions in this nation. We are still in control of our own future. And we need to provide millions of Americans a real path forward. A green jobs program. Increasing the minimum wage. Passing a national paid leave bill. Student loan debt. Mental health, starting with our veterans. Reproductive justice. Economic justice. Racial justice. And there is so much a new president can do to bring us together. It's time to get up. Get up. Get up. Starting a presidential campaign is daunting. I mean, you have to reach hundreds of millions of people. You have these incredibly long days, often capped off by these evening events that go on for hours and hours. Your challenge as a candidate is, is to be true to yourself and true to why you ran in the first place. That is something, by the way, that I really admire about Joe Biden. He really is his own man. He knows who he is. Joe Biden is somebody who deeply cares about people, people who are marginalized, who are being left behind, who are being ignored. I'm a DACA recipient, and I owe you everything. Thank right. you so much. And you're staying, man. You know, he's had some hard times in his life. He's had some losses in his life. And I think that is something that people relate to. You doing OK? Yep, 15, close to 15 years cancer free. God love you. Well, I was at a service for four fallen Afghanistan soldiers, and I saw those families who were so comforted by Joe Biden. When they walked out, they knew someone cared for them. Someone could relate to their own pain they were having. We need that in the White House. I still remember standing side by side with him on the debate stage, and we were having a go of it. But what was remarkable to me was in the commercial break, he puts his arm around me and starts telling me how good my ideas are. And next thing you know, I feel like he's giving me a pep talk and literally telling me how important it is, uh, how really important it is that I'm on that stage. Joe called me the night I suspended and was extraordinarily gracious and comforting. And he told me I should be proud of myself, said that I did myself uh, and my family a real service and the country a service. And that meant a lot coming from Joe. Look, it's not easy to unite the Democratic Party. We're a rambunctious group. Joe Biden has pulled it off. He wants to get the best ideas on the table so we can move forward in the best way possible. He's included my family bill of rights. He has unified our group around a clean energy strategy. The domestic workers bill of rights, I'm very excited that, that that's in there. He's the kind of leader that brings other leaders in. This is a guy that's gonna walk into the Oval Office and not have to find his way around, <laughs> but it will actually walk in and uh, have already sort of honed the instincts you need to lead the most powerful nation on earth through a crisis. On the other side, Donald Trump does not understand who we are as Americans. He really doesn't. This is a guy that blames everyone for everything. You know, he blames the city of Baltimore. He blames the country of Denmark. He blames the Prime Minister of Canada for cutting him out of the Canadian version of Home Alone 2. Who does that? There are no sidelines. There's no sitting this one out. There's no hoping that someone else is going to come in and save the day. There is no cavalry. We are the cavalry. The moment has found the person. That person is Joe Biden. Joe has my vote because he will bring decency and dignity back to the White House. We've got one shot to make Donald Trump a one-term president, and that shot is right now. It's Joe time! It's Joe time! It's president right here.